So now we're gonna talk about uh, texturing. How do we texture our model? So basically, the, the texturing really, um, all it does for us is to, it, it enables us to understand how big is this texture that we are putting on our uh, model going to be. So let's start from scratch. I'm gonna make a very simple plane I have no idea how big this plane is, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna go into the material editor and I'm gonna right click and say apply material to selection. I don't have anything selected, so let me select this. Right click, apply material to selection. Now the material is still not visible. How can we change this? I click and hold here, go into the set object shading attributes, change the mode from use view to rendered. So now I see it. Now, the problem is that in this case, I'm using only the UV coordinates of my uh, plane. Sometimes I want to work with that, sometimes I don't want to work with that. How can we change this? If I click F3 or go to the properties here, I have one tab which is called texture mapping. Now, in this case, since I know that it's a flat plane, all I have to do is click on the apply planner mapping. Now, I could apply the planner mapping myself, but Rhino has some shortcuts which make the whole operation super fast and super easy. All I have to do is click on bounding box and then enter, enter. Now, we don't see it, nothing has happened. Why? Because the basically nothing has changed. In order for us to see it, we need to click on show mapping. Now that I click on show mapping, you see that there is a widget going around my geometry. Now I can select either the surface or the widget. In this case if I select the widget I can scale my material down. And if I know the size of this material I can even say scale in this case one direction from here to here is say 50 centimeters and from there to there is also 50 centimeters. So now if I go and measure this from this side to this side, as you can see, it's exactly 50 centimeters. Now I can use the same type of, uh, or the same kind of workflow for objects like a cube. I call my material, I say right click, apply material to selection the material it's not visible as I just mentioned click here hold go down there mode rendered same problem the material it's not placed correctly what do I do click here in this case instead of flat or ma a planner mapping I apply a box mapping I click on blo box mapping I don't have to do anything by using the shortcuts of Rhino. So bounding box, enter, enter. And now just like I did with the planner surface mapping, I can click on show mapping, select the widget, mapping widget, now I can scale it. And I can even rotate it. I need to. Now there are objects like say spheres, you can use the spherical mapping, there are objects which are cylindrical, I'm not gonna explain everything, you can figure out the rest by yourself, okay? And this is everything that you need to know about mapping.